Hello, Corkies. Welcome back. We got another best wine under $20 review for you today. And it's a Boda box. Yeah, we're trying an Old Vine Zinfandel from California. Yep, we're going to be teaching you all about the best times and places to have box wine because they're not all bad quality. I just hope this video goes better than the last one. No. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Cork and Java, your go-to place for coffee and wine, reviews and how-tos. On this channel, we like to enrich and expand your experience with all your favorite beverages. And today we got some box wine. And if that all sounds interesting to you and you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button below so you're notified when future videos come out. And if you like us, give us a thumbs up. All right, so box wine, it, uh. Typically, it's a pretty good value um, if you can find some box wine of decent quality. This one has um, some awards from uh, wine enthusiasts. It's one of their best buys, and uh, I generally trust wine enthusiasts. I like a lot of their writings and stuff, so we thought we'd give it a try. Um, so some good things that you can use box wine for. If you're at a party or something like that and there's a lot of people to serve, you're probably not going to find better value than uh, from a box wine. This is actually three liters, which is equivalent to about four bottles of wine. And it was about 20 bucks, so you're getting uh, a lot of wine um, in a small package. It's also pretty easy to dispense from, but I think the best advantage of box wine is if you drink like maybe a half a glass to a glass of wine like a night, um, maybe you like a little bit of wine with your dinner or you cook with it sometimes, but you never really seem to uh, finish a whole bottle before it goes bad on you. Well, these are great because um, it really doesn't see oxygen like a normal bottle of wine after you open it will because it's dispensed from a valve and it stays sealed in a plastic bag inside. So it'll last much longer in your fridge or on your counter than a bottle after it's open will. So that's probably the best advantage of boxed wine. Yeah, so you lightweight drinkers, you'll like the boxed wine. <laughs> yep, you get a lot of wine and you can drink it slow. So there you go. Cool. So anyway, let's try this. This is an Old Vine Zinfandel, one of my favorite grapes. And uh, well, yeah, let's give it a color okay. Color uh, test here. Really dark. Well, there's still a little bit of light coming through, but it's pretty dark. Yep, pretty dark. Yep. Uh, you got some legs on, on, on the side sure. of the glass, so it might be a little bit hot. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Okay. Ooh, I get a lot of like wild um, blackberries. Berries for sure, yeah. This reminds me of uh, where my grandparents used to live up in Pennsylvania. They had a lot of blackberry and blueberry bushes in the wild and we'd go pick them. Oh, nice. This smells a lot like when uh, fresh uh, blackberry season there is some spice to it as well. I'd say a little um, bit of pepper. Yeah. But yeah, let's give it a taste. All right. Not too much on the front end. Um, there's not too much tannins that hit you. Not too much acidity, but it does on the mid palate and the aftertaste um, kind of lingers uh, nicely for me. It's, yeah. it's got a lot of jam notes and a little bit of black currant. Yeah. And, and also some of that spice lingers on um, that you are picking up on the nose. Mm -hmm. Definitely some pepper there. Yeah, I agree. I would say this is probably like a medium bodied wine. It's not super heavy, um, but it's not really light either. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I agree. There's not a lot in the front, but it does have a nice lingering finish. I gotta tell you, this is like 10 times better than those wine cubes, though. <laughs> this is like a million times better than, yeah. <laughs> than the wine cubes. I would put this like as a normal bottle size between the 10 and $15 range. And you're basically getting four bottles of this for I think 20, 20 to $25. So, um, it is a very good value for um, an old vine Zinfandel. I guess a uh, wine enthusiast was right about this. 
Yeah, I'm surprised. I haven't had a ton of boxed wine in my day, um, but this is, from what I recall, this is probably at the upper end of, yep. of what was good. So. They, they advertise it up here as uh, being very environmentally friendly, I guess because they use, uh, you know, some recycled cardboard or something like that, which kind of confuses me because cardboard is made from trees and you're taking down the trees but like a normal wine bottle is made out of, you know, essentially sand. Like, I don't know, that seems more environmentally friendly to me. Heat up some sand and make a bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what would you pair this one with? Uh, let's see, I think this would be great with um, like a pork tenderloin or lamb. I mean, chicken would be great. Um, I was just thinking like pork belly would be so good with this. Oh, yeah. Like some, just some, anything with bacon. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's hard not to pair anything with bacon, <laughs> but I don't know. Just kind of, kind of those jammy, fruity notes with that fat and meat. Yeah. I think would go really well. I might even be able to see this with like a dessert, like something like brownies, like something kind of chocolatey. I think it might work okay. It might be too much on the peppery side, but I think it if you find the right chocolate, it could work. Um, I'd, I'd be a little bit of a risk, I think. You just, think so? Just because there's no residual sugar in this at all, I think anything with sugar in it is just going to make it uh, taste a little bit bitter. Mm. But... Well, we'll have to... We'll have to experiment and get back with you on <laughs> we'll that. We'll report back. Leave a comment below with what you've paired um, Old Vine, Zinfandel, or any kind of um, red wine that is dry. Uh, have you tried any pairings with uh, dark chocolate or anything sweet for that matter? Let us know what your experience on that was. But let's let's rate this wine. Okay. What do you think? Mm. I'm gonna give this one uh, 87. I was gonna give it 88, so yeah. Considering all that, it's a box wine. It's getting a high 80 score from yeah. us. You know, it's pretty good. So there's good box wines out there if you're looking for value. I will leave a link down in the description below of where you can pick this one up. Also, if you're reading uh, on the blog, I'll link it there. But yeah, definitely check us out at corkandjava.com um, where we have all of our wine, coffee, spirits, and a ton of other beverage video reviews and how-to videos and also find us online on facebook and twitter so i'm looking forward to seeing you guys online and chatting with you in the comment section until next time bottoms up <laughs>